Hey, Gearheads, Jeff with Gearport here at the Project Humvee Battle Wagon to talk about some air guns from Six Hour. So if you're new to the channel, here at Gear Report we do a few things. It's all outdoor based. So we got the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. If you like surplus Humvees and custom modifications and off-road vehicles, stick around. We got a lot of content already out and coming on that. We got a ton of real firearms. Uh, we have rifles, we have pistols, we have silencers. We got all the fun stuff, all different types of ammo. We do shooting and hunting. Uh, we do camping, backpacking. We also got some air guns. That's what we're going to talk about now. So before we dive into the SIG air guns, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go like us on Facebook. You'll be glad you did, I promise. So when Sig Sauer asked if we'd like to review some air guns, I thought, well, you know, we do real firearms. We don't do toy guns. And that's where <laughs> it was kind of interesting hearing the reaction uh, to that because they don't really see these as toy guns. You know, my thought was, yeah, you can send them. I'll let the kids play with them. And they said, well, you know, as long as they're safe, that's okay. But these are really designed to mimic the real thing. So this is an MCX, this is a P226. And the weight, the feel, the location of the controls, how the controls work are set up to mimic the real thing as much as possible. And that's because these aren't designed for kids to go out and play with, but they can, as long as they're safe doing it. These are designed more for professionals and adults and people who have the real firearm to get some less expensive less lethal training. So you can go out and practice a police department, for example. Maybe they practice clearing buildings in, in a, uh, a shooting range that's set up for that, and they can use real firearms. They can shoot real bullets, but if something goes sideways, real people get hurt real bad. So maybe they want to use the pellet guns instead. It's going to be a whole lot less costly because you're feeding this pellets, and in this case, 90 gram CO2 cartridges, 12 gram CO2 two cartridges here. Each of these, by the way, shoot the .177 pellets. And it's interesting that SIG told me they were thinking they were gonna come out with the 22 caliber pellets also, but these have been selling so well that they have really they just stuck, stuck with full production on the .177. And, you know, they may or may not bring out the 22 caliber pellets at some point. Uh, so high points here, things you need to know. How they work, the controls, like your safety and your trigger and the cycling of the slide on the pistol, the ejection of the magazine, those are all gonna be very similar to on the real weapon. So here's your slide release, just like on the real 226. So when you put your mag in, you know, that's how you drop it. Works just like the real thing. You can see we're in single action here. Um, and that's a four pound trigger pull. We have a seven pound pull to get there though. So, um, just like the real deal, you can practice that. Your sight picture is gonna be the same. The weight of each of these is about the same as the real thing. When you have a live CO2 cartridge in here and you fire, it's actually moving the slide a bit as well. So you get a little bit of that recoil feel. What's different, the magazines, here you see, let me set this down. This has a little wheel that holds eight pellets. So you shoot your eight pellets, you eject it, flip it over. There's another wheel that you load eight pellets in. That's how this one works. All right. A little bit different, a little bit of an evolution and something you'll find in the new P320 pistol, which I think they said we'll have one in April to review, but they're uh, just coming out with those now. And they have this uh, linked chain system like you'd find in a belt fed rifle only you load it with one pellet in each link. I believe this holds 30. I don't recall how much the P320 holds, but so now your magazine's full, ready. If you're out at the range, you have multiple magazines, you shoot one, you know, drop it, load a new one, and you can simulate mag changes that way as well. You've got a, a operating charge handle, operating mag release, your bolt hold back catch, it's there. So so the tactile feel is going to be the same. It doesn't actually function. Your safety works the same. Trigger here is going to be a seven pound trigger pull again to mimic what the real MCX has. SIG has a couple options. You can get these with iron sights. You can get it with a red dot. This is the one to four by 24 SIG optic. Uh, you can get it 
uh, I believe you can get it without anything. I, I'm not positive on that. I'll put some links in the description where you can see all the different options that are available. So go check that out if, uh, if you're curious about that. Um, forward assist, I mean, the buttons here doesn't actually work, but you know, so you can see they've made a real effort to make it as lifelike as possible. Let me know what questions you have about these. I can tell you the one I hear most often is, yeah, that's nice, but what does it cost? For the SIG P226, air pistol. Um, these are an MSRP of about $110. On the MCX, this variant that has the optic has an MSRP of about $270. So again, let me know what other questions you have. Happy to answer those. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on all the social media things. That's important because that way you'll know when we come out with new things, like when the P320 air gun shows up, we get to review that. We'll see you at the range. Thank <laughs> you.